Yeah, I just wanted to see if this can demonstrate what the performance is like without data being cached. So here's my my favorite uh, Harbor Freight emails with their, their coupon. These should be some I haven't viewed since the cache was rebuilt. So I'll click on an email and we'll see how it comes up. You can see how there's blank coupons there, and we'll do, let me drop down a little bit. I'll click on another one here, one, two, three. Now that one came up pretty good. Here's another one, click. Yeah, you can see there's quite a d delay there compared to, I'll do this one, which I viewed this morning, and that just pops right up. Here's one that hasn't been loaded. So you can see that that shows you the difference between there's one that's been loaded before and here's one that hasn't. Yeah, there's one that's kind of slow. So these are, yeah, now they've all been loaded in. So I've kind of got them all in there, but you can see the definite difference between the emails that load quickly and the ones that are in the cache versus the ones that aren't in the cache yet. So yeah, that uh, kind of gives you a before and after uh, view. So I don't have any, you know, hard and fast numbers there. If we were to scroll down here, you could actually watch these individual uh, images tile in as they're read off of the uh, disk station. And that used to be quite common before I installed the SSD cache and now once those are in memory it's just a matter of clicking through the you know the emails uh, will just load as quick as as you can click on them. So, so yeah just show you the kind of before and after. I didn't think to run that test before I installed the SSD cache. I didn't know if that would actually uh, be something that was affected. But uh, anyway, just wanted to uh, post that little update. Uh, if anybody's uh, installing an SSD cache or thinking about it, uh, you might want to think about memory that's not in the cache, but is the index into the cache. So that's one level removed from the cache itself, but that part is volatile, so you need to make sure that data gets saved. So anyway, check out some of my other Synology Network Attached Storage videos. I'll put a link to that playlist up here in the video. Any questions or comments, put that down below the video description in the comments section. You can subscribe to my channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.